not to let their insecurities of me being so confident worry me. everyone Rhea and jose from the now collective not here dear life 101 to serve as best as we can <laughs> at the most appropriate time right now we are harnessing the power of now and now i want some coffee nice so this is a blast from the past <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> pretty girl problems part two so first of all i don't even understand how that hit 10k that's insane, isn't it? Yeah. And that was the very first one that I did. The, the very first video. So it's a little, like, cringy <laughs> to me to watch. Yeah. Um, but more importantly, I focus on the message because we just listened to it mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Read some Still comments. A relevant message, yeah. Yeah. And I thought that it would have been interesting to do a part two because of, obviously, you know, how I felt back then and how I felt now. For those of you that don't know, I found myself not wanting to come off as like ditzy or or i don't know just anything like airheaded so i made a point to be like very stern and speak with importance and um you know just like keep you at bay you know come not playing any of that sh um but so first of all you what did you think about the video because you just heard it i you, think you it's a fair place to come from but the only thing that i heard at with that girl right there was that she was too busy thinking about what the other person thought rather than thinking, what do I think about myself? Totally agree. Yeah. yeah. That's what I got from that video right there. Okay. Which I have to say there's been a lot of improvement. Because it's been a very similar... The lesson being learned that you need to learn or are in the process of learning is still in a way the same. It is. But you it's are making progress though. That's the thing. Yeah. Like maybe it's no longer like how I look, but it's just now what I say, because that was it with you too. The last, yeah. Yeah, it's, the it's no longer, I'm too pretty, so people are going to think that I'm dumb or whatever. It's like, well, I don't know what to say, because I don't want them to feel like I don't know what I'm talking about, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, no, me as a person, I have just found that I care way too much about what people think, particularly for the first video, uh, Pretty Girl Problems. Has anything changed from there? Like, if, if someone were to give me that message, right? If I'm, I'm looking at this person, give me this message. I would be like, okay, first of all, so whether you are um, like bubbly and carefree or not, because that was the advice I got back from, from other people. It was like, hey, I get that you're pretty, but please, like you can like loosen up a little bit. Um, whether that's you or not, you cannot live your life worrying about how other people are going to perceive you because of your looks. And even when we talk about looks, we're not just talking about, again, like pretty or ugly or whatever. We're talking about just as a person in general. Yeah. A person of whatever background you come from. People feel like that too, right? Absolutely. Like I remember you told me that some dude that you met at some event was like, it's hard being a white person now. He did like, when you look at me, I wonder what people think. And he that's did. the thing. That That is such a relevant state of mind <clears throat> mm -hmm. that that's what I tell you that kind of trips me out a little bit or I don't understand where it's like, if you're busy thinking that, I hope you also know that the person who you think is thinking that about you is thinking that about themselves. Correct. That, that's such a beautiful message, but there are so many different ways to say that message and you have to hear one that resonates with you. So though that totally makes sense, that one, I remember there was a time that you were like, you know, that's kind of conceited of you to think like, you know, to be walking by and think that like people are, have stopped their life have stopped thinking about whatever the hell they're thinking about, their kids, their job, whatever, and have chosen to focus and have thoughts about you. Yeah, 100% okay? thoughts focused on, on you. Absolutely. Okay, now, I loved that harsh truth. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, right? But still, that wasn't thing that truly resonated. I think one of the things that I heard that made the most sense to me was you being yourself allows others and encourages them 
to be themselves mm-hmm. also. Mm-hmm. And I, in that to me, I told you like that is something that. that I can get behind. If I just am truly myself and I'm very authentic because we are humans, we're connected. You can tell when someone's being authentic with you and um, even invulnerable. Then that I allow other people to live that beautiful life. Right. I like, just have to do it first. Right. And again, self. You got to gain self awareness, and what comes along with self awareness, you now have the awareness to notice that other people are also just as lacking confidence, yeah, self conscious, just as quote unquote we are or were at one point. Like it's so easy to see that in other people, mm-hmm. and by how they speak and what they choose to speak about whether they do or don't look in your eyes because I'm not saying that everyone needs to have like a crazy (laughs) stare in your face but when you're really confident and really in the moment and not in your head you're there you give your attention right because you're there you're not worried about oh my god have I been staring too long um I don't even know the great thing is I don't even know how to think like that that's beautiful thank you that is amazing (laughs) thank you I can do it flawlessly so I will say as far as, you know, allowing myself to be and speak and have confidence for the greater good, it's beautiful. I will say I run into people that um, it takes them back. Like, it, and I've learned to not let, let that worry me, not to let their insecurities of me being so confident worry me. Okay, because yeah. why? What do, you, what do you think they're thinking or what, how do you think it comes off? What do you mean? Okay, so like I can just tell that they're taken back by it. So I I initially be like, wait, so am I like too aggressive? Am I am I cocky? Got like, you. do I need to do I need to bring it back a little bit? Like, got you. And the only reason I'm why like, I ask rah. is because I know you and I know us, and in those situations, mm-hmm. I make it my purpose to also again it. It's about what we're talking about. I'm not ta- I'm not coming off overconfident and cocky because I'm talking about everything that I have and everything that I've done and who I know and name dropping and whatnot. That's not where my confidence comes from. It's from being an understanding and accepting person. Mm-hmm. So when I run into a person who you clearly can tell that they do lack confidence because they kind of do get taken back, it's more of like an invitation to like, no, let me help you. Let me help you. Like, look at, again, leading by example is what's going to help you be yourself. I'm still going to say some goofy shit. Like, it's okay. I'm all about that. I'm all about the the animes and nerdy stuff and K-pop and Game of Thrones. And the spectrum is huge. Like, I'm down for all that shit. And if you say something that makes me laugh and I'm interested in, then I'm going to, like, rise you up to that occasion to be like, yo, tell me more. Yeah. How did you get into that? Because this is awesome. That is what I found. The, the more you talk and the more, that, like, it, like if you are genuinely a good person and you're like, I'm not trying to make anyone feel less than no. I'm just being myself. Yeah. That eventually they do feel that. And it's like, I'm bringing you into the conversation. Yeah. Let's bring you over Like, here. I want to bring you up yeah. on this level, not put you down. And so with that being said, I know that there are a lot of ways that we as people do that. So e- even like having a good day. Like, oh, how's your day? And it didn't feel comfortable to be like, fantastic. Like, because what if their day was going bad? Or, you know, like me, or like, because what's the normal reaction? Oh, how's your day? Oh, you know, what's going? That's cool. No complaints. It's, it's all right. You know, like that's like the norm. That's the so, norm. So to be like, fantastic, it's like, okay, relax. True. Who are you? True, like, but here's the thing. Again, this is so funny. Just the irony. The majority of people want to be famous and known and walk down the street and oh that person whatever celebrity sure. type but yeah sure. everyone wants to be normal and hold themselves back that's not how that works and mm-hmm. again if you're a really good person you're not going to be that asshole you're just not you're going to be the will smiths of the world and stuff i think the holding wanting to hold yourself back comes from just not wanting to make people uncomfortable and wanting people to like you okay so you're hiding your true self and you are in content order to make with others someone feel comfortable so you are content with someone liking not your real self. I know. So you're content with someone liking a fake version of you. True. Because you don't think that people will like the real version of you. That's ironic. That's masochistic. Mm-hmm. We're not here to make anyone feel bad. What we are here to do is take as much space up in this universe with our God-given talents, with the skills that we learn, 
the way we expand our mind. We're understanding people. We're inviting people. We're here to take up as much room as possible so that everybody else feels comfortable in our setting. That's what the Now Collective is. It's a safe spot. We don't judge people. No. Mi yeah. casa es su casa. Mm -hmm. We just like to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. You're not a girl. I'm not. You're a man. But I have... Man child. But I come from a woman. Any other questions that you had about Pretty Girl Problems and your growth from then till now? No, but I do appreciate all of the comments on there because most of the comments were pretty much where we are now. It was like, don't worry about that. Don't worry about how the people see you. And yes, be a human first rather than um, black or, or attractive because that was another thing too. That was you constantly that, in yeah. the back of my mind at, at times. Which I could honestly say at this point, I'm like, wait, I'm black? What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm OJ. No, I'm, but I'm, I'm OJ. Black. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks again for joining us, guys. We hope you got some value out of that. And you know where to find us. On YouTube and on Twitter, we are The Now Co. And on Instagram, we are at the underscore now underscore collective. Yes. All right, guys. Bye. Later.